good morning year three and welcome to Monday's lesson. So on Friday we were looking at how to create similes using like or as and today we're going to understand how to use them correctly. So quite often when we use similes sometimes you can use similes that don't make sense. So we're going to look at that a little bit today. So let's have some fun by inventing a list of new crazy similes. They don't have to make sense as you're just playing with the idea. Choose an animal that you like and describe it using invented and silly similes. You could describe your animal's eyes, ears, tail, paws, claws, teeth. So today you're going to choose an animal and I will show you some pictures of animals that you can choose from or you can choose one that's not on there. And first of all, you're going to write some similes about that animal that are made up and probably maybe don't make sense and just a little bit crazy. Then you're going to use the same animal but write some similes that do make sense. Now remember to pick body parts to compare one thing to another. So um, something as shiny as something else, something as green as something else, something as fluffy as something else. So you're comparing one thing to another. So some, you're comparing one thing on the animal's body to something else. Now I'll show you exactly what I mean. I've chosen a cat. So these are my crazy similes that don't necessarily make sense. My crazy cat has eyes like red buses, ears like police cars, a tail like a computer mouse, paws like the telegraph poles, claws like crisp packets, and teeth like rotten bananas. Now, here's a picture of what I've just described to you. It doesn't make sense, does it? Now, eyes like red buses isn't a great simile. Yes, you might be saying that your cat's eyes are red, but can comparing them to a red bus doesn't make sense because your cat's eyes aren't like red buses. Yeah, ears like a police car. How are they like a police car? You've got to say how. So if you see in all these similes here, a lot of them, you haven't said how. So pause like a telegraph pole. How are they like a telegraph pole? So none of these actually make sense. So they're just silly similes. Claws like crisp packets. Again, how are they like crisp packets? You're not, I'm not telling you how they're like it. No. I've written um, some similes again about a cat, but this time I'm going to try and use similes that make sense. So my cat has eyes like emeralds, or you could say eyes as green as emeralds, ears like velvet corners, a tail like a furry cable, claws like fishing hooks, and teeth like a necklace of white needles. Okay, so these things make a little bit more sense, don't they? Because obviously a cat's claws are quite sharp. So oh, I'm comparing the cat, cat's claws to fishing hooks because fishing hooks are also sharp. You could say claws as sharp as fishing hooks to say how they're like it. Here, paws like small cushions put here um where is it ears like velvet corners so you could say here ears as soft as velvet corners eyes like emeralds or you could say eyes as green as emeralds so these make more sense whereas describing a cat Claws like crisp packets. Crisp packets aren't sharp, so that wouldn't make sense. Whereas fish hooks are. Does that make sense? Now, what I'd like you to do is when you've done those two examples, so you pick one animal, you create silly similes about them that don't make sense, and then you create similes that do make sense to do with that animal. And then I want you to think about which did you find easy to write? Was it when your brain was trying to think of wrong things or right things? Which one is your best idea and why? Next is a writing tip. If you're writing a playful list, then it can be fun to write a crazy simile. 
If you're trying to say what things are really like, then the simile has to work. Remember what we said earlier, there are two types of similes. You can use the word like to compare two things or as. A simile is a comparison. It is when you say two things are similar. So you can choose an animal. I've put a lion, a rabbit, a giraffe, a butterfly, and you can pause the video on this screen and look at the different body parts that you might want to describe. So I would pick maybe five body parts and use similes to describe them. Now the first set of similes you're going to make up are ones that don't make sense. The second lot of similes you're going to make up about the body parts will make sense. So if we just go back to my cat idea, um, here, a tail like a computer mouse. Is a cat's tail like a computer mouse? No, it's not. But here in my in my one where I've tried to make my similes make sense, I've said um, a tail like a furry cable. We've got teeth like a necklace of white needles. One, because they're white, and two, because needles are pointy and so are cat's teeth. So that makes sense. Saying here, teeth like rotten bananas. Cats don't have teeth that are the same as rotten bananas, do they? Rotten bananas are yellow. They're not spiky. So just to be clear, pick one animal of your choice. It can be any animal you want. Choose different body parts to put to compare as similes, at least five body parts. Then you can do silly similes, and then the next time you can do similes that make sense. If you are stuck, then you can message us on the blog. But if not, I look forward to reading your similes and have a think about which you found easier. Was it the silly similes or the similes that had to make sense? I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.